last day in Yuma, Arizona. It's been fun, Yuma. And uh, I think that I might come back if Ethan decides the road trip again. I might come back with him in January. Um, yeah, because Yuma's fun. We met some great people, had some great food, and uh, dude, it was awesome. So if you're in Yuma, check out The Pint House, check out Jimmy D's, check out Das Bratwurst House, and um, yeah, just have fun. Explore where you are and enjoy it. But right now, I'm actually headed back up to the room to do a little bit of packing and uh, just wait for you to get back. So thanks, Yuma. It's been a good time. Life is good, Alright, so we're about to experience one of the best burgers that Ethan has ever had. And it's at a place in call in San Clemente called Riders or the Riders Club Cafe is what it's called. Apparently they just do burgers, traditional, and they have good burgers and a great um, assortment of beer. But apparently it's really small, but it's really worth checking out. So we're about to go to the Riders Club. I tried going here once before, but it was closed, so this time let's open. It's not fun. Beef burger, cheddar cheese, bacon, grilled green pepper. No. Looks pretty good. Let's eat. Oh, yours looks better. Is that a fried egg? No, it's a goat cheese spread. Yum. And a beer. It's dinner time. So yes, that had to be one of the best burgers I've ever had. So if you're in San Clemente or the area, stop into the Riders Club and you will not be disappointed. Um, it's kind of like a, you know, like on Seinfeld how you have the soup Nazi? It's a little bit burger Nazi-ish. Because yeah, there are definitely things like, it's, it says on the menu there are things like no substitutes and like this and that, but so good. So yeah, check out Riders Club San Clemente. Now we're going to continue home in amazing uh, LA traffic and see how that goes. But uh, time for the Yuma Road Trip of 2013 to be done. Next we have the Yuma Road Trip of 2014. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I feel I just did my duty to the uh, state of California and I just called in a drunk driver. Um, obviously the guy, if he wasn't hammered, or girl, the person was obviously hammered and if they weren't then it was the worst case of talking on the phone while driving or texting while driving that I've ever seen. So, yeah, do the right thing. If you see someone who you suspect might be drunk, call them in. And during this holiday season, if you have had a little bit too much to drink, leave your car. It's not worth it. DUIs are expensive, and you don't need that on your record. Dude, so, get out of the fucking camera. Seriously, you're pissing. Fuck. <laughs> uh, no, but, yeah, in all seriousness, like, don't drive. Take a, You know what? In the description below, I'll put my code to Uber. It'll give you $10 off an Uber ride if you want an Uber ride. So, take Uber. Do not drink and drive. Or else you're gonna have people like me calling on you. So, sorry, had to be done though. I just don't want him hurting other people. Apparently he can hurt himself. I mean, that's horrible to say, but he can hurt himself. I just don't want him hurting other people. Or me, or Ethan, or any of my friends. I don't want, yeah, drunk drivers off the road. All right, back to PCA. This is not it's a dream. Because you already know. So cheer up. <laughs> 